Hi, I am Harris Panakkal, Assistant Professor at Government Institute of Science, Aurangabad. Uh, I am going to present on the topic Novel Beta-Lactamase Inhibitors to Break Antibiotic Resistance. Uh, antibiotic resistance is a huge problem that is facing us. Uh, uh, since the discovery of uh, penicillin as the antibiotic, uh, different types of the penicillin have been discovered. Penicillin is the major antibiotic that has uh, been used is being used to treat uh, various infectious diseases. Nearly 60, per, more than 60 percent of the usages of this class. Uh, the antibiotic targets the peptides uh, like and layer of the cell wall and binds to the pen penicillin binding protein. This is a uh, antibiotic uh, uh, which is facing the resistance problem due to inappropriate use of the antibiotics because of the wrong prescriptions, short antibiotic course, as well as the unhygienic practices of the medical workers who cross contaminate it among the patient. And the main activity of uh, hydrolyzing enzymes cause the antibiotic resistance. This is one time and it can. Uh, have different uh, uh, types and they are grouped in based on their active site enzyme into A, C and D class whereas the B class has have, is having a zinc ion as the active metal ion on, in the catalytic size and they are called as a metallolactamases. Mm, these enzymes have to be targeted and they have to be blocked for the antibiotics to work and uh, screening for such inhibitors is uh, part of the study and uh, for this we have used the uh, peptide library uh, that is M13 fast displays the peptide on its uh, surface and coat protein and this peptide short peptides of 12 amino acid residue can uh, act uh, can bind to the targets and and such a bound peptides can inhibit the activity of the lactamases. So in this case, we have screened for the um, such peptides. Uh, initially, the screening of the clinical isolates were done, and uh, these isolates were uh, strict onto McConkie agar plate, and the uh, individual colonies were picked up and inoculated into triptychase soya broth, and the active cultures were spread onto Mueller Hilton agar, and the Mueller Hilton agar. Uh, call, uh, was placed with the antibiotic discs, uh, different antibiotic discs like ciprotaxim, ciprotazidium, gentamicin, tetracycline, streptomycin, and imipenem were tested. For uh, ESBL testing, uh, the easy mic uh, strip of high media was used. Uh, for uh, ESBL, uh, the uh, combination of uh, ciprotazidium, uh, ciprotoxin, as well as the uh, clavulanic acid was used and these results indicate that uh, they are resistant to cefatoxim, ceftazidim as well as tetracycline but sensitive to gentamicin and streptomycin as well as imipenem. All the isolates shown over here in, are uh, indicating ESBL activity that is extended spectrum beta lactamases activity. Uh, the screening work was done via the uh, this flow of work. And the isolated peptide were uh, then tested for enzyme inhibition is the beta lactamases that is penicillinase uh, with the substrate penicillin G. Uh, the various peptides uh, were tested with the uh, control as the potassium clavulinate, uh, clavulinate inhibitor. The line viewer work plot of the uh, inhibition was studied and the character kinetic characteristics obtained were used to evaluate the you know, different peptides for their inhibitory activity and this indicates that uh, versus the control uh, the peptide 1 as well as peptide 3 are uh, candidate peptide for uh, inhibition and uh, as compared to the uh, stand uh, the control they show nearly 60 percent uh, uh, reduction in terms of uh, inhibition or activity as well as uh, uh, inhibition. So if we, from the overall work, the conclusion is that uh, the uh, all the uh, strains are ESBL positive and uh, ESBL can lead to cl uh, clinical uh, uh, infections which are dangerous and the peptides uh, that were obtained uh, P1 and P3 are showing promise in terms of inhibitory activity and they can be used for further studies. 
थैंक यू